Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video will be a Q&A video of the tour of our calving barn and our calf barn. There uh, was a couple questions that I wanted to uh, explain a little bit further that you guys had asked. The first one was about our calves, uh, what we do with our extra heifer calves and where our, uh, our bull calves go. Uh, it's, uh, it's something I'd like to focus on maybe in another video where I would uh, explain to you guys our reproductive program, but I can yeah, maybe explain it a little bit br briefly today. So we, uh, we have a program that our sire company that we work with has that uh, figures how many heifer calves we need to keep our herd at uh, the amount of cows that we have today. And the way we do that is uh, we use the sexed semen so what that is, is uh, semen that's sorted for males or females, in our case females. So 95% of that semen would end up in a, a female calf. So we target that to our uh, highest genetic uh, cows on our farm to more quickly improve the genetics on our farm. We have a list of which cows, which heifers have to be bred to which cows or which bulls I mean. and. Uh, we follow that and any cows or heifers that are not bred with sex semen they will get bred with either limousine or angus and that calf no matter if it's a heifer or a bull will go into beef production so they're sold on our farm at about a week old or less i'll probably uh, talk about that in a little bit more depth in another video but uh, the question was asked what we do with our holstein bull calf so we they would go for it uh, together with the, the black calves, the crossbred calves, and they go for beef also. And if we end up with uh, months where we have too many heifer calves, we will sell some of those, but it's typically five or 10 per month or less. So we don't sell a whole lot of heifer calves. We, uh, we basically are trying to breed our cows uh, in a way that we don't end up with a lot of extra heifer calves because we don't want to be raising calves that we don't uh, need on our farm. But yeah, that's uh, a lot more to talk about there. That's a pretty quick, brief explanation. Uh, I'll talk about that more in another video. I've got a lot of uh, cows that have uh, come here to listen to me talk here today. Uh, the, the, the second uh, question that I had was uh, if once we group our calves together, if they uh, suck on each other, and that does on, happen on occasion, uh, not often. If they do happen to do that, we will put a, it's a plastic nose ring. What that does is if a calf tries sucking on another cow that, or another calf, that calf will walk away because she feels the rubber on her udder or on her teats. So we, we do have, uh, we will occasionally have that. It doesn't happen often, but that's how what we do to prevent that. Uh, a big thing to prevent that is to make sure that they get enough uh, milk, enough nutrition, that they're not wanting more after they're done eating. Uh, the the last question I wanted to talk about was uh, somebody had asked about size of our calf barn. So it's uh, 250 feet long, and I believe it's 36 feet wide. And then they had asked, I'd mentioned at some point I'd like to have all the calves in our hutches in a barn. Uh, Really in the early, early stages of that, I've got some ideas. Uh, we've got nothing planned for this year. If, uh, if anything, it'd be the year after or maybe even later. Uh, I've got some ideas, but what I'd like to do is uh, have them go into our calf barn that you saw in the video for about three, four weeks. And then after that, go into another barn where they would go together with groups of four, four to eight, a uh, little bit undecided on that yet and then they would stay together in that group up until after weaning before they go into our heifer barn that you'll see in the next video uh, the idea behind that is uh, the the hutches is a lot of labor when they're in the individual stalls it's a lot of labor uh, but they do really well on their own in individual stalls or individual hutches and it's we feel that it's necessary for the first three weeks, but after that, uh, I think we could group them together and do a really good job and make sure that they're they're really uh, healthy and in an environment to uh, thrive. 
so that's that's kind of what I'm thinking so far but yeah like I said still really early stages I'd like to visit some farms that are doing something similar uh, visit with yeah with some of those farmers uh, if they have any uh, positive negatives what they do different uh, I'd like to do a similar style barn like our individual calf barn is with uh, where the on the south side you have the the clear panels so the sun can come in and I'd like to keep the barn narrow to make sure that we don't get any stale air in that barn because clean air is very important for calves uh, once we kind of get more into that that process I'll definitely share more with you guys and kind of uh, let you guys know what my thinking is for certain things uh, have thought about automatic calf feeders but I a little bit hesitant to put cows or calves in groups of 20 plus I'd like to keep them in smaller groups if possible, but it's definitely haven't ruled that out yet. And I would definitely like to visit some farms that have automatic calf feeders and kind of uh, pick their brain. They like it, don't like it, uh, what they do different. Um, yeah, things like that. And there was a question asked about what, what I would expect a barn like that to cost. And at this point, I really don't have any idea. Uh, I know that the heifer barn that we built here a couple of years ago that we the addition that we had if we were to build that same barn today it would be 15 to 25 percent more than it was two years ago i don't really expect that to come down much if any it seems like when prices go up they stay up uh, but yeah it's really too early in the process to give you guys an estimate on what i think a barn like that would cost and as far as payback goes it's uh it's really difficult on a, on a calf barn to figure a payback because you're not getting immediate income out of that barn like you would out of a milking cow barn. That's that's fairly easy to figure out because you're immediately uh, getting milk production out of that barn. Where in this barn, it's uh, the theory is that you're able to save some labor costs, maybe save on some bedding costs and hopefully raise uh, as good of calves if not i would prefer to try to you know do a little bit better than we're doing now and that should in in theory uh make better heifers that are higher producing and last longer in our herd but yeah t uh, r really tough to put an exact number on that to say okay it's going to pay back in 10 years or we're going to pay back in 15 years uh it's it's uh, it's one of those things that I I think it will pay back and I'm pretty positive that it will pay back it's just a matter of uh, yeah trying to make it work for us and if you want to make it work then you have to make it work I guess uh, th those were the main questions I had um, definitely if you guys have more questions uh, put them in the comments I'll try to answer them if I can uh, been getting a lot of uh, comments on the videos lately I as best as I can I try to answer all of them if I miss any of your questions I do apologize and not trying to miss any of your questions I'm definitely trying to answer all of them but it seems like I don't always get notifications especially if there's uh, questions on another comment I, I don't get not notifications on those so if I don't answer your question it definitely wasn't on purpose I'm, I'm trying to answer as many as I can but uh, yeah some of them slip through the cracks and I do apologize about that but I uh, really appreciate you guys watching or all the questions you guys have been asking, all the comments you've been making. Uh, yeah, this that's why I started the channel is to uh, show everybody what we're doing and to answer questions. So I'm, I'm glad that's uh, that you guys are asking those. And yeah, I hope, hope to see you in the next uh, video, which will be tomorrow actually. 